when I was came back to join the politics. I visited Mze in Maji Mazuri and he remembered Kijana Yangu Ya Abijan. Mr. President, I've never said this publicly, but he supported my election. <laughs> I was on a novice. I had resigned my job in Uganda three months to an election. So I didn't have the money, no network, but he supported me. And I'm forever grateful for that. There are many virtues that we cherish from President Moy. And one of them is that he was a God-fearing man who believed in prayers, both for this nation, for the family, and therefore, I want to read some two verses, if you'll allow me. I'll begin with Hebrews 13.7. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. I think we are here to cherish what he did and to imitate the virtues that he left with us. And there are many. I can't go over them. Then I'll read First Thessalonians 5, 12, and 13. Now we ask you, brothers, to respect those who work hard among you in the Lord and who admonish you. Hold them in the highest regard uh, in love because of their work live in peace with each other. Indeed, today here, as we meet here today, we are remembering the philosophy that he espoused upon this nation. Peace, love, and unity. And those days people used to think those were empty words. But I can assure you, this is the time we realize that we need that philosophy like never before. And I believe you agree with me on that. And even the verse has said, live in peace with each other. So the Bible admonishes us. So we, as we respect them there, let's practice what he used to do and what he used to say. He loved the people. He had no boundaries. He loved the poor. He loved all the communities in this country. And... One thing I remember is the building of gabions. I had never heard that word gabion, although I had gone to university. <laughs> but he was out there in the field practically carrying those stones. Then we realized and knew kwamba momonyoko wa udongo na kitumbaya and you have to take some action. Otherwise, sisi tulukua tunaishi tu kwa kama kawaida. Uh, as I conclude, Let's cherish the virtues. Let's speak what is practical. He helped strengthen the foundation of this nation. Let's continue building on it. He talked of unity. Peace, love, and unity. Let's, at this time, love each other as Kenyans. He talked of love. The Bible says there's nothing greater than love. We need to love each other. We need to be patriotic the way he was patriotic. This is a virtue that we need to strengthen in this country. To be patriotic and to love our country. Irrespective of the challenges that come. So for today, I feel very honored to stand before you. And I want to thank Honorable Raymond. Uh, we live together in uh, Transoya. And every time we've had any activity here, I've ensured that I'm here. And let me ask Kenyans, pray for your leaders. Because that's what the Bible commands. Don't curse your leaders. If you curse your leader, 
na akiwa kichaa ni nani ataumia nani ataumia please pray for your leaders may god bless the family may god bless president uhuru kenyatta and may god bless the country of kenya thank you very much